In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Continuing to follow the readings of Sunday, it's wonderful to see how God sends us very, very clear messages. And clear messages that are personal, not generic messages, but they are personal to each and every one of us. The scriptures are such a personal correspondence between God and us that they inspire us to see him in a certain way and to deal with him in a certain way. In the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, our Lord is speaking to his disciples, and then they say to him, show us the Father. And his response is so moving. Our Lord turns to Philip and says, have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? Have I been here with you? Have I guided you? Have I taught you? Have I led you? Have I inspired you? but you still don't know who I really am. And what message is there for us in that? We fill our churches, we open our Bibles, we pray. We interact with God, but do we know who he is? He wants us to know him. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 31, God gives us a promise and he says to us that we will know him. We will know the Lord. And he says to us that because we know him and because we interact with him and because we love him and he loves us, he takes away our iniquity. He forgives that. And so in knowing him, there is love. In knowing him, there is forgiveness. In knowing him, there is an understanding of who we are for him. His love for us and our love for him and what that means in our daily lives. That we love him, that we speak to him, that he speaks to us, and we have a real relationship that we savor and we love. And glory be to God forever.